Hey, Bob Buddies, MKJ here. And today I'm going to talk about really what I am focusing on for the entirety of this year, this coming year. And I have been dabbling in for the last year and a few months. So hang on tight because I think anyone who's actually creating an agency or building an agency is going to want to hear this. Okay. Uh, here we go into the world of SaaS. Okay, SaaS typically means, at least what I thought it meant, software as a service. Well, I was just introduced to a new definition of that by my friend, uh, Phil Sterling Hall. Hey, Phil. Um, and he described it when I asked this question on Facebook, software as a subscription. And that is brilliant because that's exactly what I consider a SaaS business, software as a subscription. I'm an agency owner, right? I'm also the uh, the owner of Bot Academy, where I train others on how to build an agency. And one of the things that I have preached about in building an agency with chatbots and other automations is that agency owners cannot actually perform a service that is low ticket, uh, low touch, high volume. So if we're going to actually provide a service, let's say many people would come to me and say, well, I'm just going to build a template, right? I'm going to go to ManyChat and build a template or GHL and build a, a snapshot or anything like that. Well, that's cool. But when you're building a um, flow, a workflow or a template with a software that allows you to provide a service based on their software, get it? Software as a service, right? GHL, ManyChat, Zapier, right? Active Campaign, ConvertKit, Infusionsoft. They're all softwares that developers have built and they allow us agency owners to actually create a service using their software. Okay. That's all wonderful, but there is no way that you can provide a low ticket, high volume service with that template. Let me let you in on a little secret. Someone still has to customize that template, that snapshot that email automation, whatever it might be. You can create the email automation, but someone has to adapt the copy to fit that business. And if you, as the agency owner, are the one doing that, then you are definitely shortchanging yourself by charging low ticket and thinking you can sell high volume of that template. So unless the people you're selling it to have a marketing department where they are going to customize the copy, which not very many first time automation freelancers are really diving into the market where the client actually has their own marketing department, right? They're freelancers when you start. So here's my take on that. And here's what I have discovered. Instead of trying to sell only having high ticket, high touch, low volume clients in my agency, because I have a service that I offer for thousands of dollars per client. Instead of only having that as my revenue option, I now have software as a subscription. All right. So those are my definitions. Is it software as a service, like a GHL and uh, even a Jarvis or anything like that? That's software as a service. Or is it software as a subscription, which I'm going to share with you in just a minute? Or is it actually a service based on your agency that you are adapting or customizing a particular software, click funnels, et cetera? Right. So which would you prefer? high ticket, high touch agency clients. And, you know, when we get into a recession and people cut back, one of the first things they cut back on is marketing. So your clients are going to dry up in a recession or get very uh, few and far between. Um, and most of the time we are looking in that kind of a market for a diversification of our revenue. And so now you can, you can, as an agency owner who understands how to build in these different softwares, build automations. You can do that now for your own software as a subscription. Okay. Let me, let me explain what I mean. There's a company that I'm working with and I have built three of my own software as a subscription, SaaS products, not services, products. That's the difference. The SaaS subscription product is a product like Jarvis is a product. Jarvis doesn't customize, the, the team behind Jarvis doesn't customize their, uh, their software or their outputs for you. You have to do that. Um, ClickFunnels, they don't actually customize their pages. You have to do that. They offer a software as a subscription. Now I can do that, but 
is a mini version of what they do. So let me explain. One of my SaaS products is called the PodBot. This particular automation has been designed for podcasters who want to find qualified guests on social media. Nope, no black hat scraping and all this kind of stuff. Bear with me. Because what this PodBot does is it actually goes into your suggested friends list on Facebook. And for me, I have lots of podcasters or entrepreneurs, coaches, agency owners that are in my suggested friends list because those are the majority of my friends. So my PodBot gathers all the data, their profile link, their name, their website, their bio, and their latest post and put that in a database for me. So the PodBot goes out, opens up Facebook as if it's me on my desktop, gathers 100 of those people with all the data. And I look at that data table and I go, mm, no, nah, this person doesn't really fit my podcast. Oh yeah, this one's a really good fit. No, this one doesn't fit. So I go through those 100 people and I mark which ones I feel are qualified. Then I go, all right, PodBot, these are my qualified people. Then I run the PodBot again and guess what happens? The PodBot sends a friend request and a personalized DM to those people that I find qualified and does my outreach for me. Yes, it's safe because it's done on my desktop from my Facebook account. And it now allows me to get guests for my podcast on autopilot and guests that I'm not just sending random messages out to. And I don't have to go out to my community and say, hey, do you know anyone? Right. And I don't have to worry about friends and family. Once you get through all those, um, you're stuck. Who do I interview? That's what that automation does. Now I have that automation. I'm sure there's lots of podcasters and I already know many of them who need this same automation. So now I built this for myself and now I offer it as a subscription service to anyone else who needs it. $29.97 a month, $19.97 a month, free trial, seven days, 14 days, 21 days, whatever I want to do, I offer it as a subscription. And people, podcasters can come and subscribe to the PodBot and on a regular basis, keep their calendars full, get an 80% response rate to your cold DM. How's that? 80% response rate to your cold DM. I think that's, I think that's amazing. And then you look beyond that. And once that person responds, now you as the human take over the conversation. And now you can actually invite them and talk to them about what it, what your podcast uh, is about, and then get them a calendar link. And so we've been able to increase their calendar um, appointments for their podcast, their scheduled guest appearances on their podcast by 50%. One, one of the people who uses this, uh, this pod bot is already booked out through September of this year, and he has a daily show. That is what you can now do. So instead of going to a GHL or going to a ClickFunnels or going to a ManyChat and using their software and customizing it for your clients and charging high ticket prices, you can diversify some of your revenue. I'm not saying stop doing that. Stop your agency. That's not what I'm saying at all. I'm saying you can diversify your revenue and have subscription-based SaaS products working for you. I have two other products. One is the PodBot I already mentioned. Another is called AlBot. It's the agency leads task bot is what this is called. So it helps agency find leads in a very similar way. Not exactly the same, but similar. And then I have what's called the GoBot the guest outreach task bot. So if I want to be a guest on other podcasts, this task bot finds qualified shows for me to be a guest on. All of this is done on social media. All of this is the same way we would normally do um, organic outreach. There are other uh, task bots like Facebook group outreach. How would you like it if you were able to go into a Facebook group that you belong to and this group is full of your ideal customer? You can download all the members' profiles, information, website, bio from all the members of that group and then send targeted messages to the qualified people. That's what you can now do with this SaaS subscription product model. If you have an agency and you are charging $3,000 a month for your services, 
that's just a retainer, right? You probably charge more to build the solution because you know how, how much that takes. So 3,000 a month, let's just say as an average. 10 clients, you're at 30 grand a month. And how many hours a week do you have to work or hire for you to be able to serve those customers? Can you imagine if you had a thousand subscribers to your, let's say, PodBot or equivalent, and you charged $29.97 a month, and you worked one time to build the product, offered it as a subscription, iterated it based on the feedback you get from your users, and then just maintain and make sure everything's updated and things are working well, and then your time is maybe 10 hours a week to serve 1,000, 2,000, however many subscribers are to your product. This isn't an intense software like a ClickFunnels or a GHL. This is a automation that solves a very specific problem on any website, but really it's designed for social media. How would you like to diversify your revenue? Tune into the next um, video in this series, and I will show you exactly how this new product works. In the meantime, I've got a link in the description sharing with you how to check this out and start playing around with it if you'd like. Um, but really, I'm inviting you 2023. My goal is to have recurring revenue from my task bots of $50,000 a month. So imagine, I can do any number of calculations in that. I can have five task bots at 1,000 users each at, again, there's there's 5,000 users times 10 bucks a month. <laughs> and I'm at 50,000 a month. Or I can have three task bots at $30, right? There's all kinds of combinations. Uh, but no matter what, it is a much more um, stress-reduced way of adding recurring revenue to your business. I am not going to say that this is passive income. This is not passive. You have to be active and care about the, the problems you're solving and keep up to date on what your users need. This is not passive. This is recurring at less stress, higher volume, low ticket, low touch. You with me? Hang out. I'll see you again real soon. Thank <laughs> you.